Okay, I'm going to show you how to do the layout for your push stick project that we'll use on the table saw later. Um, what we're going to need here to start this off is a straight edge, a ruler that has inch markings to the 16th, a protractor, and I'm using the same tool for both. Uh, we will need a compass for drawing a circle, and finally at least one good sharp pencil. Okay. Uh, the other thing we'll need is a 6 inch by 9 inch piece of plywood. These are cut for you so you don't have to worry about it. And later on when we're done with this we'll need a whole pile of power tools, but that's a story for later. Okay, so I've got my plywood in front of me and all my sharp tools ready to go, ready to start drawing some lines. So my first direction says draw a line 3 eighths of an inch from the bottom. Okay. To do this I'm going to make two marks. So along the bottom of the board I'm going to measure up three-eighths of an inch, one, two, three, and make a mark. I circle it so I can find it so it doesn't get lost in the grain. I'm also going to make a mark again on the left side. Notice I'm not using the end of my ruler. I'm actually using the middle and lining up on the inch mark. It allows me to get a more accurate measurement. And I want three-eighths of an inch. One, two, three-eighths of an inch right there. And I'm going to connect those two lines using my straight edge. I also need a line two inches from the bottom, and I'm going to repeat the process. I'm going to measure from the bottom on the right side, one, two inches. I'll circle that so I can find it. And on the left side, measure up from the bottom two inches, one, two, and connect those two lines. All right, and we're going to measure the right side, or mark the right side rather, point A, and the left side of this line, point C. Okay, now we're going to measure from the right edge, one inch. I'm going to make two marks again, this time on the bottom. Make a mark at an inch, and at the top of the board, make a mark at one inch, and connect those two lines. And one more mark that is two inches from the right side of the board. So again, I line up my inch marking right on the edge of the board. I like the see-through rulers because it's really easy to line them up. Make a mark on the top. And a mark on the bottom. Line that up there. One, two. And connect the dots. All right, and the top of this we're going to mark point B. All right, next direction is to connect points A and B using my straight edge. The point is right exactly where that line crosses the edge of the board. Right there and there where it crosses the edge. Take a second to line that up perfectly. And scribe a line. Okay, now we're going to need a parallel line to AB that's an inch and a half away. So there's line AB. I'm going to need another line about there, and here's how we do it. We're going to start with point B and measure two and a quarter inches down. If you're looking at the ruler, you might notice, so we line this up so the edge of the ruler is right on the line, right there, one, two and a quarter. But it's also the intersection of these two lines. And we're going to label this point E. Now I need to measure a perpendicular line, and that's 90 degrees. So I'm going to take my protractor, not on the edge, this line right here is the crosshairs. So this dot is where this point's going to go. Line that up there, and line this black line up with the line that we just drew. Right there in the center and we're going to make a mark at 90 degrees. And then we connect these two lines. So point E connects to that. We'll just extend it out a ways. So these two lines are perpendicular. There's my right angle sign. Okay. So
So from line AB here and here, we're going to measure out an inch and a half. So along this line we just drew, inch and a half away from AB. Here's AB, one inch, one and a half inches right there. Okay, and again it says make a line perpendicular. So I'll use my protractor once more, line it up on the point I just drew and the line we just drew. We'll make a mark out here at 90 degrees. And this time I want it to go all the way top to bottom. Just like so. Okay, where this line crosses the top of the board, we're going to mark point D. And where the line crosses the bottom of the board, point F. So there's point D at the top. Point F is right down here at the bottom. All right, now we're on to page three. We're gonna use a compass now to draw a circle, a quarter circle from the top left corner with a radius of four inches. Okay, one way to do this is just to check, and I can see already one, two, three, four inches is going to be exact distance from this corner to that line. Another way to set your compass is to just use a ruler and set it on the ruler. I can see that's already set at four inches. So we're going to set our compass point right here on the corner and we're going to scribe a line from point C right there up to the top. There's my quarter circle right there. Okay, now we want to draw a line connecting points C and D. It's getting kind of weird here now, isn't it? All right, so there's D, there's C. All right, now comes a tricky one, where the perpendicular line intersects line CF. That should be CD, shouldn't it? All right, where the perpendicular line intersects CD, this line right here. So this line here, we're gonna measure up and down a half an inch and make a mark for each. So this line here, we're gonna measure up and down a half an inch This might be a mistake in the directions, but this is what it looks like. It's this point right here. Measure up an inch, half an inch, and down a half an inch. And then we're going to go an inch and a half up from the same point. So from here, an inch and a half, and down an inch and a half. And those are going to be the centers for our circles. You don't need to draw those because the drill bit will do that, but you might want to just note those with a circle. That's where the center of the drill press will hit. All right, now we need to draw lines along the bottom of the push stick forming the heel. So that's gonna be this. I'm just gonna darken that line just a little bit. From here 